Given the following information, we have to calculate the size of the multiplier and also the equilibrium level of income. Let's start with the, the multiplier. Now, before we can calculate the multiplier, we must decide which variant of the multiplier we must use. Now, given the information, are we working with an open or closed economy? Let's have a look. We have the government, so economy with the government, and we also see exports and imports. So we're working with an open economy with the government. So the multiplier is 1 over 1 minus C, 1 minus T plus M. Now, all we need to do now is to substitute the variables into the formula. 1 over 1 minus the mass of propensity to consume, 9 over 10. 1 minus the tax rate, 1 over 3. And the mass propensity to import, um, 1 over 10. Now, if we solve this, we'll see if the multiplier is equal to 2. If you don't know how to solve the multiplier, there are various examples given to show you how to calculate the multiplier. Now, now that we have calculated the size of the multiplier, the next question is the value of the equilibrium level of income. And we know we can calculate, calculate that, and that is equal to the multiplier times autonomous A. We know the multiplier equals 2. All we need to do is to calculate Autonomous A. And autonomous A consists of all the autonomous part of spending. In other words, 400 plus 500 plus government spending 1280 plus autonomous exports 900 minus autonomous imports 600. And if we add these together, we get uh, 2480 times 2, so the equilibrium level of income is 4960.